What's going up everybody? It's Jeannie the Great and today we're gonna do some pretty fun stuff. I am going to try out four different viral TikTok abstract art techniques. Whew. All right, so I've been seeing a lot of videos on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all that of just different abstract painting techniques with acrylic paint that look a little too easy to be real. So I'm gonna try those out today. We're gonna do paint pouring, uh, which I have done before. It went terribly. We're gonna do string pulling, squeegee thingy, and palette knife techniques. So I've done palette knives before and I've done paint pouring. And I'm pretty like, I feel pretty confident with the paint, or uh, with the uh, palette knife, but the paint pouring I tried one time and it was just like muddy and gross and it didn't work out. So I think I've upped my technique. I think I've done a little bit more research. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So I've got everything I need. I've got everything uh, on the ground in my living room on the floor on a big old picnic table uh, cover. And yeah, we're gonna get messy. We're gonna have some fun. And we're just gonna let loose and relax this summer and do some silly painting. So let's jump into it. All right, so I've got <laughs> my floor covered with a picnic table cloth. A, uh, I've got a sheet underneath that and a trash bag on top of it just in case it's porous. So first let's do the paint pouring. I've got plastic cups. I know it's like bad to use plastic, but I already had these, so we're just gonna use them. Plastic cups, I've got pouring medium. I've got silicone and Floetrol. So I'm gonna try the technique where you cover the canvas in white and then just run stripes of color across it and blow with a straw. Because before what I did was the flip cup thingy and I just splatter paint everywhere. I also just tried pouring specifically. And some of those techniques work better than the others, but I feel like the colors got really muddy. So I'm only gonna use a couple of different colors. They're gonna be high contrast and they're gonna be, uh, hopefully not get too muddy. And my cat's here, hopefully she won't knock everything over. So let's get started with that. all right i did the first technique which was the paint pouring it definitely already didn't turn out like i had planned on it i've seen uh tiktoks where it's like mostly white with just a splash of color through the middle that's what i was going for clearly i had way too much paint because it just covered the canvas but it still looks cool I think it's gonna be more successful than my other tries. The silicone is already starting to make cells, but we'll let that dry, we'll let that sit up and see how that turns out. I'm gonna try the squeegee technique where people just drip paint on a canvas and then pull it down with a squeegee. Looks really simple, really easy, so let's try that out. All right, I've got a little bit of leftover paint from the paint pourer, so I'm gonna to try to use this up, see how that goes, and throw some other colors in it. So this is definitely just gonna be uh, pretty up abstract there's not a whole lot of control over this other than what colors you pick Something like this. All right, let's try it out. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. I'm not sold.
Okay, so I did a couple different techniques. I did the paint pouring and I did the squeegee. And I tried to do the squeegee again and I hated it. So I pretty much just poured some paint on it and did paint pouring again. But let me show you guys what I've got so far. So this was the first paint pour here with some gold and some like navy blue. I think when it dries, it's going to look really cool. This was the squeegee. Um, it's not terrible, but I wanted to get the sides more covered and try something else. So I tried it on this canvas here. It looked horrible, so I just threw some more paint on it. We'll see what happens with it. Yeah, this is a this is a mess. Somehow got paint in my mouth. But uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then we'll try some other techniques. All right, now I want to try string pulling, where you put some paint on, you pull a string to through it, and it makes like a flower. All I have is twine, so I don't know if this is going to work. I've seen people do it with, with like little tiny chains. Uh, we're just going to go for it. We're going to see how it works out. I think the uh, the string is too lightweight. All right, that didn't go as planned. Um, hmm. Maybe pull the string through again. I'm just gonna leave it at that. We'll see what happens. It doesn't look terrible. I like it better than squeegee, but uh, it definitely didn't turn out like the videos. So I'm gonna say that's a mild success, not a complete failure. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up and then I'll do the final technique with you guys, which is the palette knife. All right, so here are the finished results. This was the first paint pour I did, and I let these actually sit and dry for probably a month. 
before I stacked them together and then I stacked them all on top of each other and threw them in the closet. And even though it was completely dry, uh, the canvas that was on top of it ripped up the paint, so now it's all fucked up, which kind of sucks. Uh, this was the squeegee one that I didn't like, so I just poured some paint on the top of it. Looks okay. This one, I pulled the string through it. It didn't look as good as the videos make it look, so... But it's not horrible. So I don't know if I would say that it's a success or not. This is the squeegee one I did that I actually ended up liking. Um, I'm okay with that one. And this is the favorite one that I did, the palette knife. I really, really like how this came out. Um, it looks really good to me. Like, I'm surprised I did that so quickly. So these two were my favorite. Now this one's fucked up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to try any other techniques or any other TikTok trends, let me know and I'll do that. And if you like this video, drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! It looks something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah.